I put on an additional lens that I got on Amazon to this camera. It's making it wider, if you guys can't tell. It's not so like, I feel like before my footage looked like this. Hi. <laughs> yes, my lash extensions are crazy. Now, you guys are not all up in my face. Anyways, happy Monday. I just stopped by, it's 526. I just stopped by the house real quick because I needed to let Luna out to do her dookie. And then um, I'm, I was gonna change, but I think I'm good as is. I have this like sage green uh, crew neck that I got from H&M men's section, $14.99. I got it this weekend at the mall in case you guys are interested. Some of my favorite Amazon leggings and then some flat like Converse wannabes that I got from uh, Home Goods. Come on, buddy. Pets are indoors. I think I'm just gonna get my tripod if I can remember where I left it. So like I said, just got home from work and we are gonna go to, uh, where's my other tripod? I kinda want that one instead. Um, we are gonna go to the, I was gonna say to the mall. What the heck, I'm trying to spend money. We are gonna go to the gym. What we need to be doing, being healthy all, tw Don't like my face. <laughs> I feel like walking moon. You wanna go on a quick little walk? Cause if I go to the gym now, you're not gonna get another walk today. Maybe we'll take Luna for a quick little walk. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym. We're going with Danielle. I drank a Celsius at 4.30 p.m. while I was at work. So came up with the crazy, I was gonna say crazy AZ, crazy idea to go to the gym. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably just gonna do some weights because I really wanna start weight training. I heard that it's really good for burning fat. My cardio will be probably some Stairmaster and a quick little run with Luna right now, maybe around the complex or something. So I'm gonna go do that. I gotta look for my tripod and then I'll check in with you guys once we're at the gym. Is that where you're yawning? It's the SpongeBob in the background for me. Back from the gym, it's 7.48 p.m. I've showered, as you can see. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, my natural hair is really curly. If I can find a picture of when I was small, I will insert it. But I was a little curly cue. Um, somewhere along the line, and by that I mean straining it every day in middle school because Eurocentric beauty standards, am I right? But I straightened my hair every freaking day in middle school once I was allowed to. And so my hair's been really damaged for a long time. Damaged? <laughs> Look, you can see it's like curly and then it just gets straight. <laughs> oh my God. Drinking a freaking protein shake this is an Atkins one, just some that I saw that were available on Target Drive Up, and I like keeping these in the fridge. I'm using this as a meal replacement tonight because it's already 7.40 something, and my stomach doesn't really feel good. I think because I had two Celsius on an empty stomach, and so um, I think I'm just gonna drink this, maybe drink a tea, and then I'll go to bed. Hopefully I wasn't flashing you guys, what the? I'm also going to put on one of these foot masks, some fuzzy socks on top, and then get to watching this movie. Luna's been laying on my couch when I'm not home, and I haven't caught her in the act on video, but I'm seeing the evidence of the hair when I get home, and my pillows are in disarray, and I look at the couch and there's a little section with dog hair on it. Clearly, I know that she's been laying there, so I don't know how to get her to stop, you guys. Like, she's just... She just wants to be comfortable. That's why she's getting up there, you know? So I feel bad, but I think I'm just gonna have to lay um, a blanket on the couch or maybe get like a cover. I actually saw a cover on Shein that looked really cute. It was basically like a blanket, but it was thick and it's made to lay on your couch as like a protector. So I think I might get that for the couch, at least to put on like when I'm not home. So if she lays, I can just take that off and rewash that. 
Stormy. Did I show you guys his new collar? It's so freaking cute. Last thing before I get off of here for the night, this book, I just started it. It's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little funny because it has TikTokers. I know, I know. That alone would steer me away too, trust me. But it's about these like social media influencers that get invited to go to this island. It's giving fire festival when I read the description, but they get invited to go to this island and it's like a goth, like the first goth uh, theme park, but it's a secluded island. So there's this guy named Malcolm and he owns the island and he invites like these super famous TikTokers, all different genres, like one's into true crime, one's like a gamer, one's like a fashion girl. I think she's a fashion girl or she's just like a, you know, like a pretty influencer. So the point is that all these different kinds of influencers get invited to this island and I think someone's gonna get murdered. <laughs> Long story short, I think it's going to be like a murder mystery. I don't like to read the full description of the books because I like to be surprised on what the direction is going to go in. Like I just want to get a general gist of what it is. This is my current read. I'm addicted to books right now. I got another one when I was at Costco with my mom the other day, but I got The Last to Vanish, which I think is going to be about someone getting murdered. Such dark themes. Hey guys, what the heck? Oh, here it is. I stopped and got something to eat on my way home because, girl, I have so much work to still do. I have to log in and I still have some stuff. I know I always briefly talk about my job and I say I'm going to make a separate video about it, but you know what? I never do so we're gonna briefly chat if you're new here I work in insurance I am a property broker I mean I'm not necessarily a broker because I don't have like my own book of business I still have a boss that I work under it's like his book of business that I work on and I write business for but there's like a hair on my lens it is his book definitely not my book but uh, I did get licensed so I'm now an associate broker I did have a connection to get an interview at my job. Now there, it was no, it was in no way, shape, or form like a, you know, just do the interview as a formality. You already got the job because you know somebody. No, I had to do a professional interview. I actually had to do like three interviews, and I really had to prove myself, especially coming from a place where I had not done the type of insurance that I do now, ever before. So it was a whole new industry for me. By the way, I'm eating some pollo campero. I got some, it's basically like rice and vegetables. The rice is a little mushy, not gonna lie, that's kind of gross. Then some beans, and then I got some chicken. I swear to God, I meant to get grilled chicken, but they gave me fried. And what am I to do now? I'm already home. And some corn tortillas. But I did go to the gym yesterday. I went to the gym, as you guys saw, with Danielle and her wife, Tabitha. It was really good. I woke up with my legs sore as hell, but hey, my cat's trying to get my food. I woke up with my legs sore as hell, but it was so worth it. I feel so proud of myself for going. So I didn't have any insurance experience, so it was really intimidating. I always say that I feel like I bamboozled these people into giving me this job because I had no experience. I just had a good interview. That's why I always tell people, apply for jobs that you don't think you're qualified for. Half the time, nobody's applying. We were looking for extra people to come on our team at my job, which you don't need insurance experience. You just have to be smart and want to learn. So yeah, if you're confident in yourself, girl, go in, put in the work. And listen, the worst thing that can happen is that it's not going to work out. But at least you tried. At least you added something to your skill set, you know? So don't see it as a waste of time. I just see so many young people that don't know what they want to do, but they know that they want to make money. A lot of us want an office job or like a desk job or a remote job, but being a receptionist from experience I know can only get you so far salary wise. So I really do think that property insurance, even casualty insurance is another department that seems pretty successful, but I work in property. I really recommend that you look into it. If you don't know what you want to do in life, look into a uh, large property insurance reach out to me you guys know i'm always open if you have any questions um you can dm me on instagram or whatever oh my God. so bomb but yeah so work was good today 
we got two new boys on our team so our team was our team used to be all girls minus my main main boss who's a guy so it was just always a girl vibe the last girl that we worked with not the last girl but the first girl that i started working with she was <laughs> she was really nice i just don't think that she liked her job and so it showed in that way you know like you know you can tell when someone just doesn't like their job and they don't want to be there it kind of was just that vibe i don't think she intentionally was like trying to be rude me giving people the benefit of the doubt but she since has left <sighs> sorry i need to i oh my god i'm the queen of stuttering i needed to go get a arnold palmer I love a fun drink. That's what's so hard for me too is that drinks have a lot of sugar. So I gotta cut out the fun drinks, but not today. Then we got Danielle, who you guys already know if you watch my videos, an absolute queen who turned into my bestie. Then after that, we got another girl. Like our team has just been growing. But unfortunately, that girl that we got after Danielle, she just couldn't get the hang of it, you guys. And that's totally fine. Like I always say, try something. And if it's not for you, if your like brain doesn't work that way and it just isn't clicking or you don't enjoy it all you learned is that that's not for you and you're able to cross that off the list of things you're interested in so yeah i mean i was kind of sad that it didn't work out for her but at the same time it leads her on to the path of what she does want to do and what is going to make her happy you know what i mean so then now after her we have two boys so the two boys are killing it i hate to say that only because i am a girl's girl and the fact that two girls didn't work out and now we got two boys and they're just killing it they're definitely vibes though they're not like uh rude guys they're really cool so that transition has been cool you know getting getting some of that responsibility off of my plate and being able to have some help has been awesome because a lot of the things that are taking up my time are just basic things that just takes time so i just need someone to help me so it's really cool you know they're there to help danielle and i and like it's helping us like grow in our roles so really exciting career update last thing i'm going to say about that is that you don't need to go to school for it if you find the right position the company will pay for you to get licensed look for positions that are broker's assistant broker's technical assistant even if you want to be on the other side of insurance you can do underwriting assistant look for assistant positions with an opportunity to grow and even if you're just going and that company doesn't necessarily have room to grow at least you're getting experience and the key is to understand insurance once you understand insurance and you get the hang of what insurance is girl the insurance world is your oyster baby there's so much money to be made duh there's actually a girl at work that is younger than me she got into insurance like straight out of college i think and she is killing it she's also such a vibe starting her own book i think she's gonna she told us the other day that she's gonna be able to like start hiring people to help her like assistants and stuff so she is starting and who knows where she's gonna be like five years from now you know my mouth is feeling weird like if i'm semi allergic to something in this kind of scared and i keep eating but anyways you guys my camera is dying so i think i'm gonna wrap this up here i'm gonna finish my dinner and then i will check in with you guys later i just have to come on here and say if you're not watching love island uk girl what are you doing there's a new season and the tea is hot i'm on season 9 episode 51 in case you want to know what i'm referencing whenever you get to it i'm not going to spoil anything but live trying to come at my girl jesse don't you ever try to come at my australian sweetheart jesse she's the sweetest per my camera died but i'm so passionate i'm recording this on my phone jesse is the most genuine sweet wears her heart on her sleeve girl on this show and the way Liv has been fake to everybody this entire time and wants to call Jesse fake, I can't. Point is, the tea is really hot on Love Island UK. So if you're not watching it, girl, watch it. It's so good. Also, I just finished my dinner. So bomb. I'm going to log into work, I guess. Forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> Not the three times in a row. Guys, this cannot be real. Uh, this show has to be fake. Situations. 
will arise in our lives, but you gotta be smart about it. Celebrations with the guys I sacrificed, cause I knew you could not sleep without it. Meanwhile, I, 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 I love you. This away from easy no, no need to go down. Easy no, no need to go down. Rock that run that this away from easy no, no need to go down. Easy no, no need to go down. Rock that run that this away from. guys happy hump day it is wednesday my dudes we are back home i've had a long freaking day i didn't want to get out of bed this morning it was crazy but i'm so excited for this package i treated myself to a mark jacobs tote bag you guys know the ones i know the canvas one has been in style for a while and it's still super cute don't get me wrong but I didn't want to spend money on that and have it go out of style too quick. I mean, what does go out of style even really mean, honestly? But I guess I just wanted one that I feel like was going to, <laughs> like the style was gonna last longer. So I got the leather one in this super pretty neutral, like white color. You guys know I love my YSL bag, but it's really small and I need something that I can put my laptop in, hopefully. OMG, she is gorgeous. Love the color. I'm really happy because it's more like a taupey nude color. And when I was looking at it online, the nude color looked like it could almost be like orangey which i wasn't sure or like pinky toned if you know what i mean and no this is super neutral really cute it looks a lot more like a sand color in person the letters do super cute i'm gonna use this literally right now i wanted to treat myself to a bag and i wanted to get the pauline bag you know the like shoulder bags that are really in right now but my problem with the bag that i have now is that it's not big enough for all of my crap so I didn't want to just get another small bag. I feel like that defeats the purpose. So to justify my purchase, I got this one. Oh my god, so cute. I might have to get one of those like purse organizers. Is this just fluff? Side note, look at this super cute credit card cover that I got from Etsy. Oh my god, here comes Storm. And then I also bought this one from a different Etsy shop. I literally just searched credit card covers and um, this one came up. It's not focusing, but this is my Cash App card. <laughs> me with my bag on getting ready to leave i um wanted to take luna on a walk really quick and then i have to go charge my car 
so we'll go do that and then i started this thing well i haven't st let me take my purse off i'm ridiculous but i started this thing it's basically making an activity for each day like assigning something fun that you're gonna do for yourself every day so on mondays i have matcha monday that's what i decided to do it that's what I decided to do it. That's what I decided to assign for Monday. I'm not a big matcha person, but matcha is still kind of fun and like trying different matcha. Like I want to see if I really don't like matcha or if I've just had crappy matcha before. And so Monday mornings, I'll get my matcha. Take out Tuesday, pretty self-explanatory. I want a day that I'm allowing myself to order takeout without feeling guilty. And then I feel like that is going to encourage me to cook at home the other days. Then I have wind down Wednesday, which is today. So we're gonna go get stuff to make a small charcuterie. I'm talking like lunchable size, cause it's just me. Some wine and then I'm gonna pick a movie to watch. Hopefully I can rent one, like one that's in the theater so it really sets the vibe. Tomorrow is Thirsty Thursday. So after I go to the gym, I'm gonna get a fun drink. So that could be like a Starbucks or a Jamba Juice or a Presta to Juicery, like just something. Hopefully not too high in sugar, but just like something to reward myself. Then fun Friday. So Fridays I work from home, as you guys know. So my plan is for the second half of the day from one to five, I wanna work like at a coffee shop, outdoors, like just somewhere other than my apartment. So that is fun Friday because I feel like as soon as it's five, if I have everything done, I can just log out and do an activity wherever I'm at go to another store that's maybe in the same area. Like, I don't know, just getting out of the house is so fun to me. Going to different coffee shops is so fun. So, fun Friday. Solo Saturday. Now, this is key to my happiness. I've been doing this without even realizing, but I need to have a solo Saturday or a solo Sunday. Doesn't matter, honestly. But a day where I can clean, catch up on emails, clean up around the house, organize things that I've been meaning to organize. Like, just get a lot of miscellaneous stuff done in my apartment that I usually put off. So solo Saturday is actually my favorite day. It's like a self-care day. I go get my nails done. I go, you know, do that UPS return, like just stuff that seems very mundane that I actually enjoy doing on my own. And then I have Dog Mom Sunday. So I wanna dedicate a day to taking care of my moon, my Luna. If you guys are new here, I have a German Shepherd named Luna. I'll enter a photo. She is the love of my life and she's what's been getting me through this whole uh, divorce sitch. So she's really been there for me and has just made me feel safe and comfy and I owe her my life. So on Sundays, I wanna take her to the dog park or maybe like a dog beach, some type of dog event, a dog bakery, like just something um, so that she can have a dedicated day you know to doing something fun and that also helps my mental health because she's my literal child and so when i take her to do fun things like seeing her have fun at the dog beach makes my heart happy not a regular beach because that causes me stress she's going to be going up to strangers but a dog beach where everybody's dog is acting crazy and people actually enjoy dogs coming up to them that is my vibe Really quick, one time I went to the dog beach and I was sitting there and I had a white shirt on. Tell me why a male dog literally walked up behind me, pissed on my back. Mm-hmm. You think I'm lying. He walked up, I'm sitting there crisscross applesauce, and he walked up behind me. I thought he was just gonna sniff around us and everything. Mind you, it's a dog beach, so there's dogs everywhere around you all the time. So I didn't think anything of it until I feel wetness. And yeah, he, he literally lifted his leg up and peed straight down my back. And yeah, I was wearing white. Yeah, I was wearing white. And luckily I was able to take it off because I had a shirt under, but <laughs> fun times, fun times at the dog beach. Anyways, let's go model our new purse <laughs> while we, uh, I was gonna say pump our car with gas. I don't have gas. Well, we pump our car with energy, battery. I don't know, girl. Now I have increased what my unit is in baseball this year because I feel like we're going to be able to pull changes until it adjusts. We're ahead of the public. This is what we. Do. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey guys, happy Easter, OMG. I can't believe it's Easter already. It's freaking April, 2023. Can you believe it? But anyways, I wanted to pop on real quick and say happy Easter, but also wanna show you the bark box I got for Luna. The theme for April, such a vibe. Look at this bongo is what they're calling it. <laughs> You put treats up here? How crazy is that? Then she got some dog kush nugs. Are you kidding? Are, are you kidding? Literally me. <laughs> you guys, what? Oh my God. It also came with two bags of treats. These are gobble soft bakes. And these are some dank noms. She is just living her best 420 life this month and then the last thing was this pumpkin and honey uh chew stick this is just like a regular regular thing but i signed her up i'm sorry if you can hear my podcast alexa lower the volume i ended up signing luna up again for the bark box because i stopped doing it once she got a little older so the bark box is just so convenient i feel like it's actually cheaper 35 dollars for good quality toys that they last forever even these plush ones especially because luna's not <laughs> luna's not the type to rip them apart so yeah sign up for the bark box again i think i'm gonna get a cat box too because i feel bad my little kitties need some treats too and i'm tired of freaking buying them some especially because for cats at the store like they don't have a lot of options they discriminate against them and i'm tired of seeing the freaking temptations i don't want those little temptations uh snacks like give me something interesting so i think i'm gonna sign up for like a cat subscription box but anyways happy easter the apartment across from me their alarm is going off so if you can hear that girl it's annoying me too my mom is actually in mexico so i don't know if i'm really doing anything today i mean i might go hang out with my grandma and my sister but it's already 4 45 so to be honest, I think I just want to clean up and then maybe settle in. We're going to celebrate Easter next weekend probably because I do have like Easter basket and some stuff to give them. So I think we're going to go do that next weekend. But last update that I have for you, I think, is that I got some freaking stuff to do my own Gelix nails. And Super Slay, they came out so good. That's it. That's it. I was gonna go to the salon to get them done, but every time I go, it's like $85. And honestly, I like doing my own nails. Like I'm very DIY. I love to just try it and see how it is. And if you didn't know, fun fact, I used to do nails. I was never like licensed or anything. I totally did it under the table, allegedly, allegedly. It was all a big mistake, never meant to miss the date I was caught up with my friends, I forgot that we had plans So the roses on the floor and found the champagne by the door 